then you have the uh <laughs> now that's where that starts then you have a certain amount of people that are atheists that see the whole thing as a joke <laughs> you know what i mean and uh that's understandable and you got to remember that there's a part there's a passage where jesus explains in john that people who believe have been led to believe by the father the father god you know that's just, that's what jesus has said people who don't believe have not been led to believe you see what i mean so like i end on a on a note where i'm saying like the certain entities that are out there keep god above god is the most high you know what i'm saying and like his his son is named above every name there's a name issue though because uh it's said that lilith took uh took a certain amount of power from god but then there's i said who was able who was able to get the name of ra and those two issues are a little weird you know what i mean because it's like then there's that plagiarism <laughs> that could be plagiarism but at the same time it's a sense of honor i could go i could go further into that but freedom wise um we as a people should not be either jealous of the jews or worried about what the jews have in control because if we are sitting here believing in Jesus, we should give them a freaking applause, a hand, and hopefully, you know what I'm saying, we have a, a part in whatever the hell they got going on, in either in Israel or abroad. Um, the Arabs, on the other hand, I don't know. The, the Bible believe, the, the Quran believing, Bible believing Arabs, I have no problem with. It's the, ter it's the ones that want to blow themselves up to prove a point. Those are the ones I kind of have a problem with. But uh, when the exodus happened, there was that one little group. Moses took them out. According to the story, he took them out. He got them out of there with the Lord's help. And they had this promised land. We don't have a promised land. Now... We still have Africa, but it's so thoroughly it's so thoroughly taken that we don't really have Africa. We had Liberia and we fucked that all up. So we never really needed an exodus. And you should thank God that we we haven't really needed an exodus. And those that want to leave, cool. You know what I mean? If you notice, it was a Jamaican nigga that was planning on getting a boat and getting us out of here. You know what I mean? It wasn't no it wasn't no Negro. It was a, it was a yeah man, you know what I'm saying? It was a beef patty eating motherfucker. You know what I mean? The, like all, like rest, rest in peace to, to freaking uh, Marcus Garvey. You know what I mean? But that's who it was. That's that was it. You know what I mean? Then we had plenty of chances, plenty of different chances. And every time we seem to get closer to our culture, there's always some sort of drug that seemed to, you know what I mean? Take the, take the. the like the ambition out of it but do we really need to go anywhere no it's about time for us as americans to prove uh, to prove why we are important as americans because of all the slave labor that actually went down before america was established and after so don't let somebody tell you to get away from Jesus. Don't let somebody tell you that you, you're you wrong for being a Muslim. Don't let somebody tell you that because you believe in Aset and Nesaru, you know what I mean? You are, you're, you're anti-Christian or you feel that, you, you know what I mean? Don't let somebody tell you that when, when you're doing a libation ceremony, Right? Because you're, you're fucking... Let me stop playing. <laughs> Just... It's always a test. It's always a test. And if you believe in heaven, you probably might go there. 
Um, if you don't believe in heaven, maybe God has not showed you heaven. Maybe you have no idea what, what the hell it is. <laughs> maybe you're just going to go back to the dust where God has made you from. And then that's, to the dust you're going to return. Might not be a hell, just dust, you know? So, that's it. I'm... <laughs> That's my first little quick lecture, 35, 20 minutes of Carthage. Freedom. You should always stay in a state of freedom and never, under any circumstances, let somebody call you a slave. <laughs> Nigga, nah, you can get away with that, you know what I mean? But slave, nah, not a slave. Think you're a slave of the mind, you're probably going to be a slave of the mind. You know what I mean? God is all about freedom. And uh, you're just going to keep getting freer. And you're not going to know why. So, enjoy it. You know what I mean? You want you want these to be the last days. But technically, the, the rock has been established. Because these motherfuckers is already praying to it. <laughs> that rock is there. So, it's smashing motherfuckers. And it's growing. And all it really is, people that really know what it is. Is a submission to the will of God. I don't have I, and how you do that easier is by just letting God do Him. You know what I mean? Like you're willing. You know, we don't we don't God to do do the will, and you can do that by just thinking. You know what I mean? You know, and if you seriously believe there is no God, you wouldn't be able to imagine. You wouldn't be able to dream. And. uh Nobody has seen no light at the end of the tunnel, so. Good luck. Okay, <laughs> Ashe. <laughs> At <the> hotel. <laughs> mm. Peace to all. <laughs>